uh, but they're going to the go Rakan. Sense, it's really, yeah. it's really good into Braum. The thing is, the Braum makes sense because the Draven, the Draven can't just hit with a shield, right? Yeah. And all the Draven players in solo queue will ban Braum. We've even seen in yes. multiple and. Uh, we're kind of seeing it once again. Jankos, though, looking for his Good. first Bella, game Flash game. away. His Broken Blade flashes in for the chase. The red buff flow from Jankos is going to do quite a lot of work here. Bella's about to be available for Odo Omne under the tower. Dead buff, Blood G2. The red buff there. Targmas here, still only level 5, but the support's yet to crest over that ultimate mark. You can see Comp moving up from the bottom side. Of course, Whirling Death available for Flack, and he's going to start to move as well, but decides Kensa as he backs away, Odo Omni chipped off towards the top side. Broken Blade does have that ultimate. Can be looking for some damage as well, as Larson has that flank position. No Emperor's Divide on him. Caps can hijack away an ultimate. Maybe the Cyclone, a good possibility here. Call of the Forge got one as well, but Yanko's already jumped on. Comp has joined the fight. Blackard on his way up still. Oh, Caps yeah. going in with the Cyclone. The dive in from Targamus as well. The Whirling Death just short. Larson takes the first, the second of the fight. We'll be going over to Comp. Broken Blade trading off towards the top side as Odo Omni is forced away, but Odo almost winning out on the trades. Chipped away by Broken Blade. Another kill goes over to Compass. He gets the double on the Zeri in the Rift Toad. Next on the menu for Rogue. Does Rogue want to chase down Broken Blade? He has no TP. He has the tier 2 boots, though. Larson is looking for him. He could get the execute, but he doesn't get the Q over the wall. He's just going to recall. Larson should have the WEQ, and he tags him. So Broken yep. Blade will die as well. This will be four kills to Rogue Huge from that team fight. fight for the one kill trade from Broken Blade. Really good engage by Rogue. Really good engage indeed. Odo Omne was struggling a little bit in the 1v1. Will be the Dragon going in favor. As Kedril just said to G2. And the swap will now come through. The Herald secured. It looks like that Rogue on a try and That's Zemi in a much better position to actually have impact as the team fights go on here. Maoran caught. Caps trying to get onto him. The charm coming out as well. Beautiful from Caps. Caught the clone as he tried to get away. The charm coming out onto Larson as well as the knockback with the Emperor's Divide. And Larson's shut down as soon as. Comp has been funneled. A little bit of gold is about a thousand ahead right now. Immortal Shield Bow already complete for him. And it's going to be gifted over this tower local gold as well. Another 450. On Yone, you have to imagine, but that ward looks like the best option for him. The pink is also good. Just stay with the rest of the team. Now, where's the Orn Horde? Where's the engage from Rogue? They need to be quick on this. 2000 HP on the Dragon Call of the Forge. Got dodged by everyone in Rogue. They called in the Forge God, but the Tempest Fate finds the backline. Unbreakable Shield coming up the Whirling Death. There's a shutdown, and immediately Black gets online. That's two. Looking for three as Malrang tries to get away, but the chase is on, and there's no escape for the Monkey King. You have to feel dice to the tower. G2 with a perfect team fight. What an insane one. Combo combo from Broken Blade and Targamist. The Yone ultimate into the Rakan ultimate was just flawless. Everything about G2's team fighting comes up clutch, and G2 wipe Rogue off the match. Play tomorrow. They can still get a rematch against G2. The last series they played against them was a 3 0. Rogue looking to try and stop it from being 3 0 this time. Black is still caught. The quickness from Targamist though distracts the rest of Rogue, and Yankos now can look to step forward. Broken Blade coming in, caps. Back in base, TP's behind them. What have you, you got, Cat? Broken Blade trying to get onto that backline. Whirling Death coming in as well. And G2 are quite separate here. Yeah, Broken Blade will dive all the way across. Caps is going to get away as well somehow. Glacial Fisher stolen away. Caps no flash. And the rest of G2 just collapsed. Wow. What? The what? What? The what? No! Okay, across the back, back to his E. Oh, no, Caps, as don't Caps do it. just continues. Maybe a bit too deep here, but he has target mass by his side, the solo lanes. There's uh, no such thing as too deep. But like, Rogue okay, had no, no, Like, Cavs was behind. that I'm used to. The heavy roaming, the heavy influential. Pike. The Pike. Bring it back. TP top here from Rogue. They're making a play of their own. Yeah, Yankos with not the uh, not the optimal Herald, as Larson looks for Yankos here. He's going to be able to force Good him down towards the bottom side. Subjugate coming out. Call of the Forge got there as well. There's one. Targum is trying to get into the back line. Three. Face sealed. And they dive onto them. Broken Blade going in. That's one. Targum is still alive somehow. <laughs> and now Larson's caught in the midst of four flashes away, but can't survive. Targamus, oh, Leandri's tick is enough to burn him down, but Baron on the menu for G2. It the execution, looks... however, doesn't quite go their way. They stand, they initiate onto Yankos, they find that pick, and it looks good, but then the re-engage from G2. And it's a re on it, Rogue trying to step forward, but as you say, Cajal, yeah, it's gone. just gone. Call of the Forge got there as Broken Blade dives in with a face seal, dodges to the side by Comp. Face seal goes back, Broken Blade diving away from this one, Comp trying to put the damage down, but he's just chipped away at Call of the Forge, got stolen away by Caps as they look for the chase, G2. Get the Baron, get out. Like, get a ward over the wall. And yeah, that's going, what I thought too. No ward, no ward. Cool down, no stopped him. That's what <laughs> happened. Yeah. G2 will secure another tower. They're making a rotation up towards top. Caps is going to catch that wave after securing Gromp, of course. Broken Blade, though, has his eyes on Larson. Yeah, what can Larson really do in this situation? <laughs> the unstoppable away from the Emperor's Divide. An easy enough escape there for the G2 top. And G2 now pushing in two lanes. Broken Blade in mid, the rest of them up towards this top side. They must be sitting on... A little bit of gold as well, actually. Um, a thousand on Yankos, a thousand in a couple of other places as well. 
can uh -oh. get to reset and buy that. Trimby here, damage. no way for him to get away from this one. Trimby falls for the third time this game. And now with the numbers advantage, they can just siege onto this tier three in the mid lane. G2 looking to break the base of Rogue, and they're looking to make this a quick 3-0. They are looking unstoppable right now. Are they going to go for the Nexus dive? I doubt it. Target Mass is running from mid. They're going to take this slow, go to top waves, and then start the siege on this top inhibitor. There's a real chance that Fnatic could meet them there. Of course, still a long road for Fnatic to go. They will be playing mad tomorrow, but his broken blade over the wall. Look for the damage on the comp. Manages to get away from that one. TP Poking away as well, Caps. TPing up towards the front lines here. Wave clear is good though from Rogue. They will hold the line for now. The tower remains healthy, but the super minion starting to stack up in mid lane. 30 seconds left for the Baron, 25 seconds left now. They'll have a wave to work with. I think they're going to get this bot tier two. Rogue could go for a Hail Mary defense, but is it worth it on tier two? Not the best positioning for blue team. And Caps is threatening this dive. Quickness coming out. Caps goes in with the Empress of Eyes. The knock up onto Comp as well. They put everything in the Comp basket and he's been shut down. Yankos takes him underneath the tower. G2 may have overextended Caps though with the Kingslayer just healing himself up. Flackett in the midst of them as well. Stopwatch from him. Flashes away. Marowak trying to put the damage down, but Flackett's still alive somehow. TP, TP the into the base as Broken Blade looks to end the game. Caps diving forward in a 2v1. Caps wins these. Of course he bloody does. Caps has gone to bed and Claps oh, is back. <laughs> Oh, baby, G2, looking like the G2 of old, demolish Rogue, and they will make their way to their 11th final and look to make it lucky number 10 in terms of titles. Unstoppable. They look amazing right now. G2 will close it out. 3-0 versus Rogue. Incredible performance from G2. Not sure how many people...